Welcome back. In this video, we'll look at section 2.5. We're going to learn how to evaluate indeterminate forms of type 1 to the infinity, 0 to the 0, and infinity to the 0. We'll actually turn these into those and then into these so we can apply a L'Hopital's rule. But we're going to use log to go from section 2.5 to section 2.3. All right, so 2.5, I want to look at indeterminate forms of type 1 to the infinity, 0 to the 0, and infinity to the 0. Our goal is to evaluate these types using L'Hopital's rule. To transform the exponent forms, again, let's write them down. It's important to remember them. 1 to the infinity, 0 to the 0, and infinity to the 0. We want to transform them into the product form 0 times infinity. We're going to do that by applying logarithms to both sides and then the following laws of logarithm. So I'm going to take ln of a to the b. That's going to turn into ln of a. And then the b, I like to think of the b as being on his friend's shoulder and escaping the log jail. So it's going to jump out in front and I'm going to get b ln of a. That's going to be 0 times infinity. And so this one is going to be 0 times infinity. And then I'll turn it into log of a over 1 on b. And this one, sorry, not p, b. And this one is going to be a 0 over 0 or an infinity over infinity. And then I'll be able to use L'Hopital's. All right, let's try it. I want to evaluate the following limits. First one limit as x goes to 0 plus of x to the x. So if I plug 0 into it, I'll obviously get 0 to the 0. Now this is the limit I'm after. It's an exponent. And just like in Cal 1, when you had to differentiate exponents, you applied log to both sides to turn it into a product. That's the same thing we'll do here. So I'm going to look at log of log. Oh, sorry, log of L, um, log of the limit. And then because log is positive on uh, continuous on its domain, I'm going to take the limit out. I'm going to get x to the x. And then I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to transform it using a law of log. This is going to be 0 times log of 0, which we've seen is minus infinity. So this is 0 times infinity. So we have to pick one of the two terms to bring to the denominator. And of course, this one's horrible. So we're going to pick that one. I'm going to get the limit as x goes to 0 plus log of x, 1 over x. All right, so that's kind of what I said here. You're never going to take ln of a down. It's always going to be the b, so it's going to turn into log of a over 1 over b. All right, at this point, I have infinity over infinity, so I'm allowed to use L'Hopital. Um, the derivative of log is 1 over x. Derivative of 1 over x, if you remember, we've done it a few times. It's minus x to the minus 2. If you don't remember why, it's just a power rule. It's just that the power is a bit hidden when you write it as 1 over x, but really it's x to the minus 1. All right, so I have powers of x above and below. I'm going to simplify it a bit. I'm going to get minus x squared over x. I'm going to cancel part of it. I'm going to get minus x. And so that's going to be 0. All right, so by applying log, I was able to bring the exponent down to turn it into a product, which I then solve using the method of section 5.2.3. Uh, and now I got 0. 0 is not the limit we want. This is log of L, right? It's ln of L. So now we need to read the value of L from this ln of L. So let me just put it here since this is our first time. I mean, this is a common mistake to just stop and say the answer is 0. This is log of L, not L. And so if you want L, you're going to apply e to both sides. And so L is going to be e to the 0, which is 1.
All right, we have three more examples to do. Let's stop this video here and then we'll start again on the next page.